Hello, Brian from the channel Brian here, and Come On, Come On by Mike Mills is a new film that I am going to review. Mills is a writer-director known for such a specific, challenging, refreshing brand of pathos. That's basically his brand at this point. They're about as far type B as movies can get. While he'd been in the industry for quite some time, nothing he's done was as popular as his 2016 movie, 20th Century Women, a movie this new film shares some emotional common ground with. Rest assured though, this is not just that film repackaged as the exact same experience, but between this and his previous film, Mills sees a clear few empathic connections with doting passion. Motherhood, for one, definitely, but also a wider idea of intergenerational relationships. Conquering one's own emotions in the midst of forming bonds with others is another big one. I think Come On, Come On shows an even greater emphasis on how adults imprint themselves onto children, which is saying something, given 20th century women's all about that. Mill's movies, I suggest, are geared towards people having gone through a similar kind of introspection the characters have, as Come On, Come On restates again and again a complexity beyond your simple feel-good film. The film centers around Joaquin Phoenix as a documentary filmmaker traveling around the country who ropes his young nephew into coming with him, only to realize the struggles that come along with taking care of someone at such a vulnerable age. Watching them grow closer together is inherently sweet, but Mills is instead using this to also make a movie about the forces that push people away from each other. Finding a way to make the attempt to still connect in the midst of them highlight how sweet that is too. Come On Come On looks to be an upgraded artistic endeavor for Mills as well, with textured black and white cinematography and an emphasis on mannered sound design like he's channeling Roma, this muted but detailed presentation really matched the lower key attitude of this screenplay, but only accentuated the moments where Mills and Phoenix collaboratively cut the deepest. The child Phoenix looks after, as most do, represents an unknowable enigma combining a complete lack of life experience and peculiar bouts of emotional intelligence. Every little gesture you make is vacuumed into their little brains to germinate and eventually come back out a thousand times over as they develop. And with just that one realization, the paralyzing agoraphobia of our individual emotional complexity begins to set in for the characters. Children teach people about themselves because they bring with them a sudden shift in focus. You're required to understand how to cultivate someone else's emotional well-being, and do you then realize you're not well yourself? And then, what do you do? You always think you'll be able to figure out your emotional distress once you arrive somewhere in life, but suddenly you're put into situations like this where the consequences of our shortcomings are so noticeable. Exactly like the characters, whether knowingly or unknowingly, we construct these barriers and no matter how much we want to tear them down to improve our relationships, there's some little part of ourselves that just doesn't let us. Only now, every time you slip up, it sends reverberations down the rest of another person's life. Come On, Come On's central cast is caught in an intangible journey of ongoing healing, making mistakes along the way, and showing forgiveness towards other people for making their own. It lacks many narrative thrusts, or antagonistic forces beyond the deceptively simple act of meeting someone where they are, no matter how many places your head's in at the moment. Everyone's got an undefinable future, and maybe the slightest mistake will careen you away from where you'd like life to go, even though doing everything perfectly will still probably land you somewhere you never even counted on. While Mill's movies can be a bit corny and overindulgent, this is why his characters are among the truest to real life I can imagine. I'm sure it goes without saying, but Joaquin Phoenix was great in this. I imagine all of his new fans from Joker seeing this and hating it because it demands tenderness and intimacy from him, but it's wonderful performances all around. Come On, Come On works best as a plainly observational film. That is when Mills allows it to primarily rest on that. 
Through the film's conversations and arguments, you can understand a vast majority of its messages. However, interspersed in the story are these voiceover recordings of Phoenix reading books or essays which relate back to one of them. You could see this as giving shape to the material Mills is working with, which I respect the choice to do. Truthfully, what took me out of the film in these and similar moments was the decision to include such a telegraphed musical cue. There's a droning ambience meant to induce, I guess, a sense of weightless euphoria accompanying every major voiceover segment, which really sounds like I'm being told how to feel instead of naturally arriving at these emotional moments myself. And I know this when I see it. If Beale Street Could Talk did the same thing, but better. Mills clearly trusts our deductive voyeurism as reasoning viewers to understand complex emotional situations, so I'm not in tune with his reasoning to include this specific example of blunt repetition. I think the slice-of-life qualities of the film are undercut just so by plainly spelling out what we can already understand just by observing. Thankfully, this does nothing whatsoever to reduce the actual potency of what's being said, as Mills presents no easy emotional answers. And even if your choice is to not reflect about the film's challenges, the surface-level story and characters are heartwarming enough to carry a movie on their own. I wouldn't say Come On, Come On contains any big surprises or unexpected deviations from Mill's other work, so if you find his usual sentimentality so saccharine or simulated, maybe avoid this one. I, however, think there's plenty to discuss with this film, and my hope is that it prods reflection for others as it did for me. So I'm giving Come On, Come On a 7 out of 10. Could go up to an 8, maybe, probably. But for now, it's just a 7. So, did you like this movie more than me? Less than me? Well, if you care to, please tell me. Furthermore, if you like not only words, but the way I arrange and then say them, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to me, Brian from the channel Brian. Thank you, and goodbye.